Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. In the last episode we started level 7, which is this tower, and oh my goodness, it's really complicated. But I know that if I... Okay, there's a few spots I can jump down there. Nope. If I go up here I should be able to grab this, which is a key. Yonk! The other side is a secret seashell. Well, where t that begs the question, where should I use it? Because there was that place up on the third floor that we could use it right here, and there's also right here on the second floor. What's going to be more important? There's also a chest right there. Oh, we haven't gone this direction yet, which we could pretty easily. Hmm. I think I should do the one on the third floor, because that'll let me drop. I don't know. I don't know what it'll do, but I'll do it. In that case, I'll go back to the entrance of the dungeon, and I could just warp there. I still don't know the solution to that puzzle, though, yet. Because I've read a few of the owls, and I still haven't gotten any information for that. I wonder if maybe that's what the breaking the pillars is referring to, maybe? Who's to say? But I'm glad that I did at least beat that boss, so that's going to be out of the way forever now. It's just that I know that that's where... Blue Rupee. I, it's surprising how rare the Bloopy is in this game. But, um... I know... Ugh. Wait, what? Was this how I... Oh, yeah, because I could jump down. Okay, I need it to be blue. What was I saying? Oh, I've messed up. I'm just trapped here. I have to jump down. Or warp, I suppose, but still. That was an uh-oh. Well... Now I can get right on back up, huh? Personally, I think there should be a purple tunic in this game. And what it does is increases your running speed by like, I don't know, 1.5 times. Maybe not that drastic. I don't know. Anyway. Monk. As I was saying earlier. There's not a chest here now. Oh. Oh. Wait. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm confused. How would I get... I'm having trouble. There's so many enemies here that are like almost only beaten by boomerangs. I know that the other key for the dungeon is in that room that has the push block puzzle that I haven't figured out yet. That doesn't do anything. Need to be able to get on the blue. There's so many enemies in this dungeon. But it, that only drops down into the room below, right? I really don't know what that would do for me. Unless that takes you like to, I don't know, floor four, maybe? Maybe it does. That would make sense. I mean, that's what, that's where the final boss is. Yeesh. Maybe I don't need to figure that out yet. All right, where else do we need to go? Uh, we can go down here and get that chest. We also need to fall down one of these holes to get into that. Yeah, it looks like everything else we need to do is like down there. So I'm gonna head on over. So if I recall correctly, a lot of rooms have just a trap that gets you right as you go into a room, I've noticed. Like, so many of them. I'm taking at least a hit per room on average, I feel. At least a hit. So, the path I'll be able to... Ooh. Maybe I didn't think about this enough. I've got to take a bit of a path to get to, like, where I need to go. Jump corner here. And then hit this, and then come back up from the bottom. Yeah. All right. And then if I, I can just walk right on through, right? Well, given. Uh, boomerang. Wonk. Yeah, this works. I'm so happy that I realized that anti-fairies can be beat by boomerangs. That's going to help us off out so much. Oh yeah, I just went up the... That rupee just went into the stairs. I just went up the stairs. I didn't actually check this direction. 
which in all honesty, I probably should have. But hey, it's my B. Check. So I need to come down from above. Also, there looks to be a bombable wall there. Oh yeah, you, you'll need to bomb that wall if you want to get to that stone owl. Hello? Hinox? Hello. I don't... You got me. I see. There are holes here to kill you. Ow. No! Okay. There's gotta be a better way for this. <laughs> no, I think I just gotta like... Really outmaneuver here. Now he can't go behind wall. Oh, he's already dead. He can't go behind walls, I saw. Could also just leave the room, I realized. But there is a key, so how about that? Yeah, and the fact that, like, you can't find hearts naturally in hero mode. I have to wonder if you can find fairies naturally, because that would, funnily enough, probably make this the easiest dungeon in the game, huh? Another bomb. Rock to bomb. Oh, that's stairs. Okay. Well. No going back. At least, at least we know which wall we need to bomb. Oh god, we're gonna do this again, huh? Neat. Good stuff. Uh, hey. I just noticed that we could fall down the left side. That would take us right next to that chest right there. Okay. Oh, I need the ball all the way over here. Hopefully that stays fallen. Just in case it doesn't, though. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this wall and get to the... the chest and also the stone owl. Because I feel like this... It's in such a specific spot that I feel like... And there's another one. It's gotta be... something important. If you can't go over poles... Over the poles, try throwing the things you have in your hands. I get it. So you have to throw the... The rock, I don't know what, the stone orb. You have to throw the orb from the bottom here to the top. Okay. Makes sense. Yoinky. Good. Glad I got that, huh? Where would that drop me? Back to the first room. Oh, wow. Ugh. Can I do this without taking damage? Yeah. Cool. Well, this really sucks. Well, we have to get the orb and we basically have to do the exact same path that we just took. Cool. Got orb. So we need to we need to get it to the left. Can I yeah, I can throw the orb over here. Womp. Easy as that. Get across. Uh, yeah. So fun. Uh, yeah, sure that works. Bonk. And then I can bring the orb back over to the left. Does that do anything for us? No. Well, it does because I moved the... No, I can't take it over to the left. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I just realized I can't carry it over this... Through this either, can I? What do I do? What? Do I just have to leave the orb here and do that path again then? I think that's what I, but then, but then I'd have to bring the orb all the way back to the other side. What? This is so bad. No, that's, that's exactly what I have to do. Okay. Well, bye. It, this is a common design thing of Zelda, so I really shouldn't be that surprised, but I don't know. Still. It's like the whole having a central point of the stage where you have to work your way around oddly. Have I not done? No, I've done this before. Uh, oh God, I, I, nope, still can't do it this way. Ah, oh, Christ. 
I don't know, dude. This just sucks. <laughs> well, hold on. I see what I do now here. I could grab the orb from here. I just wish the blocks that you pushed kind of stayed because I think that's already back now. Yeah, it doesn't stay with the transition. It, that's a way to get over, I guess. So I can bring this over through here. Womp. And then I'm able to get that pillar and I'll be able to bring it down through to get the other pillar as well. Okay. No, I won't because I have to take it to the other side. Somehow. Ugh. Okay, I could just throw it over that hole. That works. Um, yeah, I have to go back through to the beginning and do that. That weird like go through, hit the switch, go back through again. That thing. Uh, blues down right now. That's actually what I need. I should be able to get back through. Yeah. Wait, no, I can't because that this hallway right here is blocked by orange blocks. So I got to drop down. Yeah, I'm starting to get a handle of the whole stage. Also, I have a key. So hold on. Before I go and grab the orb. I can use my key over here to see what that does for me. Because I still don't really know. I guess this would be a way to get over here with the orange down. That actually does look like the only reason it exists. Or the orange up, rather. Why would that help me? It's here, so it, it must help me, though. I'm guessing. I just realized I didn't have to use a projectile. I could have just hit it. Ouch. So I can do this now. What does that do? We can only guess. Well, is, is that the only way I'm able to bring the orb over maybe? That's a thought I had. I feel like I'm, so one of the reasons I'm showing this is because this is such a confusing dungeon that it might be a little difficult to like get. What happens if I just drop an orb down a hole? Cause I could do that. Can I throw it over these walls? No, that's unfortunate. Cause if I bring it down here, there's, it's just gonna go back to the beginning. Yeah, okay. I'm so, this, this level just feels like it has a lot of ways for things to get caught up, right? Like, there's certainly several spots that this ball could, like, get stuck. I think it's impressive if, if there actually isn't. But I'm sure if you needed to reset the ball, all you would have to do is walk away. No, you'd have to leave the dungeon and you'd be good, but that would reset everything else too, so I don't know. What do I know? So what I can do is actually throw the ball over this bottom spot and that'll get it to where it needs to be. Yonk, slurp my yonky. Okay. I want to do this. I have an idea of the order I wanted two things. So I'll go back to the beginning go up the stairs and I'll meet you there. I think maybe this game could have benefited from not having the little like pause in between your little transition between rooms because that happens a lot. I think it is at least a half second pause every time. And think about how many times you change rooms. Like I've probably done it at least 50 times just in this one dungeon at least 50 I say no probably closer to like a hundred or something anyway uh, this is a secret seashell just so I don't forget to get it actually that staircase there will get me exactly where I need to be I think yonk look at that I feel like there's lots of parts of the dungeon that just haven't been utilized like this entire room here there I don't think there's been a reason for me to go in it yet oh boy Okay, it ends there, good. I'm looking at it, I think I can just go up here. Yeah, that'll send me exactly where I need to go, sweet. This works wonderfully. I can only imagine how, 
how quickly you could get through this dungeon with a properly created path to go down. Because if you plan it out well enough, I'm sure you wouldn't have to do all this weird stuff I'm having to do. But as I'm learning new things, it's like, okay, I have to put that into the path. That's all four, right? Does that... That drops the first, fourth floor. Uh, so am I correct in assuming that's essentially the boss key? That's what it looks like. Well, that still we have we have a problem still. I don't know how to get here with the blocks down. That's my problem. Oh yeah, there's no fourth floor now. Yeah, look at that. That's funny. Funny how that works. Oh, so that can so there was no reason for me to even figure out how to do that yet. I still don't know what th this room's about. I haven't found any stone owls that I haven't talked to, so I don't know exactly what's popping. Can work back up there, but before we do, real quick, I want to just see. Was there a stone owl up top here that I didn't talk to, I think? Oh, God. Kirby Lane. Oh, no, I thought there was one right here. Guess not. No, I'm blocked. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, I can always work back to the beginning if I need to. I've cleared this floor of chests. Yeah, it's all f floor four now. Or three, rather. Three and four, you could call it. So, I'm just going to warp back to the beginning and we can work our way through. Okay, so, there's got to be a way to get to that left room with the thing. Okay, so, wait, the two blocks are together there. Do I just push these together here? Oh my god. Uh, I think enemies respawn when you go through a floor transition. Not when you go through a door one, but a floor one. Indeed, that was it. I don't know if those two blue spots on the floor in the room below this were supposed to signify that, but... Oh, wow. Yep, that's required. <laughs> Good thing I got it. Honestly, at that point, I was convinced it was just like, I don't know, a rupee. Or something. Oh, this all connects now. Oh, I see. That changes things just a tiny bit. And I have the nightmare key just to go in through right now. Should I? I guess I should just do that, huh? Okay, <laughs> I guess so. Well, this dungeon could have gone a lot worse for me, I think. This could have been not great. There's another chest up here. I might as well grab it. I'm fairly certain this one's a rupee. Oh, God. First of all, die. Second of all, die. No more slimes. Okay. Nope. Go from here. Get you from here. I did that. She did that. Oh, that one also goes down. Well, no, because it's opposite directions. That's right. Give me Ruby. For lamps and bomb and oil. Cream. Wow, glad I did that. Behold, the second chest that will never be opened in my life. It hurts so bad. Thanks. This is like one of the few times that I feel like there's been a few rooms that were solely for the purpose of doing damage to you. Like that one right there. Like, usually rooms will, like, connect two important spots or something. No, that one's just like, ah, take some damage now. Wait, hold on. This is looking really cool, and this looks like it's going to be a side-scrolling fight. How? What is that? Huh? That worries me. 
because I'm gonna I'm gonna get warped out when I beat the boss, right? Oh, that's where the okay. <laughs> Never mind, I'm dumb. Up we go. I'm. Well, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to make you wish you were never born. Bird. Bird. Evil Eagle. <laughs> okay. You know it's evil because of its name. Well, first of all, I think it's pretty obvious. Grab this. Uh, probably the boomerang as well, right? Yeah, we'll go with that. I just realized how little HP I have. Take that. Expertly planned. I don't jump very high. <laughs> oh god. Got him. Imagine having a piece of power and you just waste him. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Good. That could have been bad. So you go slower when you... you ow. Okay. You go slower when you use your shield, so you really gotta make sure to pop it out right when you need it. All right, now I'm feeling good, feeling better. Yep. Epic gamer. I can't, I couldn't block that one. I didn't know you were gonna attack. Get destroyed. That's good, I was losing a lot of HP there. My energy, gone. I lost. But you will be lost too if the windfish wakes. Same as me. You are in his dream. This looks really good. One of my favorite parts about very simple games, very simple stylistically games, is they can just pump so much work into everything else, and I think this scene exemplifies that perfectly. Like, just look at how beautiful those clouds are, like, flying by the... I mean, just look at the heart piece, or heart container. The shine on Link, the shadow, the bricks. I think this is the prettiest scene. It's so simple, but it's so pretty that I've seen so far. Bada boom, bada bing, that's 16, dude. Wow. But yeah, Animal Crossing is kind of doing the same thing. It has like this crazy, from what I hear, a crazy difficult to pull off shine on the hair. That's only possible because of how simple the game looks. Well, art style wise. Organ of Evening Calm. Call that IBS. Ocarina. The music of the ocarina leads. And that's it. The music of the ocarina leads. Okay. Well, I think now that we have the mirror shield, we need to go over here. Also, I can take care of that. We need to go over to the left side here, but definitely got to, hey, that's, that's zoom in, enhance. That's Turtle Rock from A Link to the Past. How about that? I, hmm. Well, I feel like we're at the part in the game where we really need to figure out where all of these pieces of heart are. Because I'm missing many. If I look at the memories, does it? Pieces of heart found 25. So, like, we need, like, another, what? For each 12 after that? No. I think we need... Jeez, we have found, like... Also, like, looking at the map, look at how big there are spots that we haven't grabbed a heart container. Or piece of heart. I'm just gonna mix them up constantly. Like, this entire Tao Tao Mountain right side, nothing. The entire beach, nothing. So it like makes me think that I've missed a lot in those areas, but I don't know if that logic holds up at all. Hmm. But yeah, that's definitely something that we have to worry about now is kind of finishing off all of these items. 
You know, do I still only have two boss rooms? Why? I fought so many bosses. What? Exclamation point. I don't know, I'm just kind of like going nuts now. Yeah, we can go over to the top left part and I guess we can see what collectibles are there, but before I go into that dungeon, I want to make sure I have, uh-oh. Okay, I can live. Um, I want to make sure that I have most of everything else before we even do it. Also, I've decided I'm not going for 100% on chamber stones because I learned that there are seven that you can only get through amiibos. And that on top of having to buy seven of the chamber stones from the shop, it's not its not too important to me that I get all of those. Because, yeah, it's one of these three collectible things here, but I don't really care. I just want to do it. Oh, you know what? I probably get heart pieces from Dompe, don't I? That ought to be something to go for soon, so I might do that in the next episode or something. Just absolutely melt my way through all of his little puzzles. Well, in that case, I'll see you all in the next episode when that's probably what we will do. See you all then, and goodbye.